Dope, man. Well, thank you for hopping on the call with me. I really appreciate it. I've been trying to, you know, pump out some content that I can possibly use to help other people. And then when you yeah. asked me this question, I was just like, man, this is a perfect example of, is, you know, yeah. something that we come across all the time, especially when we're like, you know, working with a project kind of complex as yours. So if you don't mind, could you tell us a little bit about who you are, what you're doing, and then go into the problem we're looking to solve today? Yeah, sure. So my name is Stanley. I'm a traditionally a photographer, or I guess mainly a photographer and um, partly a video cinema cinematographer. I mostly do commercial and destination weddings, uh, but here and there, just being in my uh, in New York, uh, you get asked to do all kinds of sort of things. And so what's recently have come up is a lot of video opportunities and so forth like that, which I've dabbled in a lot of, uh, but it's, again, not my main thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so the question that I did have uh, for you uh, was I did get a request for video for a surgeon friend of mine who what wants to who wants to um, market more of market more information, do it more educational video content for uh, his clients, uh, for his personal practice. And so his uh, request was for um, 30 to a minute post uh, videos, pretty much Q and A's of popular questions that people would traditionally ask a uh, plastic surgeon and so forth. Uh, and entirely new to me because if anything when it comes to videos i'm doing like destination weddings or so forth like that uh so it's not usually any like corporate or commercial work like this and i know you're very familiar with this uh, true expert uh so i would want to know like how much would you charge and taking into consideration gear labor and this is to edit and shoot got it uh, yeah. so just to make sure um, you're only shooting frequently asked questions, correct? Right. Okay. So in this type of situation, there's kind of two ways that I would approach this. Knowing that your client's a surgeon, I would actually handle it in a, a different situation. I'll cover the first one. And I feel like this is where a lot of people are at when they're first starting out. And I think you need to consider the time, having an understanding of like, hey, I know you want to shoot the frequently asked questions, what are these frequently asked questions are you gonna to wanna to shoot? Like right. there you're gonna have an idea of like, okay, we're gonna shoot seven videos, we're gonna shoot eight videos, and, and then you're gonna have an understanding of like, okay, for me to come out, for me to shoot one video, it's probably gonna take us, you know, 15 to 30 minutes for each video. We're gonna shoot yeah. seven of them, or let's just say we're gonna shoot six of them, right? 30 minutes yeah. each video, that's gonna be an hour for two videos, so you're gonna be there for three hours, and then you're gonna be there for, you know, you need an hour of setup and an hour of breakdown. Right. So in that situation, I'm like, hey, so for us to come out and just shoot, you're looking at our half day rate, which is $800 for a half day of shooting. Yeah. For editing, depending on the video, how many videos we decide on doing or the different revisions, normally what I charge for clients is for every one minute of playable video, is about four hours of editing. No, I charge, that's like, you know, for in the way that I see it, it's like, okay, I need to, I pretty much spend one hour, you know, sorting out the footage, about two hours to edit the interview, and then, you know, an hour with revisions and kind of that type of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. that's the way that I usually look at it. And this is for like just basic talking head stuff. And if you gotta start adding like graphics and B-roll, that varies, but I usually find this to be a really good base is one, one minute of playable video is about four hours or four hours yeah. of work. So I charge, let's say $50 an hour. So you're looking at, you know, $200 pretty much on top. It's gonna be an additional, it's gonna be $200 for each video on here. So if he does six videos, no, six times 200 and we have 1200 bucks, right? Is that right? Six yeah. times. All right. So right now, <laughs> no, for us to come out and shoot six videos for you, right. it would roughly be around $2,200. Okay. So, got it. It sounds no, reasonable. Yeah, it sounds reasonable. Now right. here's the thing, because he is a surgeon right. in this situation, this is where I would approach the project a little bit differently. And I'll ask him like, Hey, John, 
uh, super interested in doing this project. I just want to find out a little bit more. We're looking to capture these videos because you're looking to enter these frequently asked questions. I want to understand what's the business problem here that these videos are going to solve. And then he's yeah. pretty much going to tell you all, a lot of stuff that you want to know. So then from there, I go like, hey, so based on what we discuss, you know, I would want to, like, you know, I would ask him, like, do you have a budget for this project? How much are you looking to spend? How much is this problem going to, like, you know, what is the, how is this video going to help you solve your business problems? Yeah. That's going to help him think about, like, okay, if I'm solving a $10,000 business problem, would you want to spend, you know, $2,000 to solve that problem? Because it's a right. business problem that happens over and over again. So in this situation, because he is a surgeon, I would probably budget or price this between five to three thousand dollars because yeah. i know for him being a surgeon understanding that you know most of the clientele or patients that he gets they're probably spending you know anywhere between five to i mean i don't know what kind of surgery he does but he's yeah. probably spending a couple you no know, a couple thousand dollars right so that's one way that i'll approach it in in that situation like hey based on what we discuss projects normally like this range between you know, five to three thousand dollars. Is that within your budget? Yeah. And then I wouldn't say anything. He'd be like, "Oh, that's more than I expected." Then he'd be like, "Well, then you ask, well, how much did you really think? Right. How much did you want to spend?" And he'd be like, "Well, I wanted to spend like fifteen hundred. Like, listen, I could do this for you because we're friends at a favor. This is the price I can give you. Right. I could charge you for a half day rate for eight hundred dollars, and then I would charge you two hundred dollars." per video for editing them with, if there are a minute video each, which would come out around $2,200. Would that yeah. work for you? Because yeah. now you price them really high and anchor them at five grand if that doesn't work out. Because you could tell him like, hey, are we between five and three grand? He'd be like, oh, I could do that. And you're like, shit, send him a bill for 4,000, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I need a 50, it, the way I do it, it's like, hey, I need a 50% deposit, that will hold the dates and I do a 25, 25. And right. that's the way that I would do it. You yeah, know what I mean? Genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that, like I said, because he is a surgeon, like they usually, like, you know, normally my first paid dentist video, I charged them, um, it was like $1,800 for like a two minute video. You know what yeah. I mean? And then I ended up getting like a root canal from the dude. In 15 minutes, he charged me $400. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> like he could have had way more money to spend on this. You know what I mean? But it's like, right, you know, right. how it's like, hey, how are these videos going to help you in your business? Because it's exactly. not so much about doing a video, but it's about solving a business problem. Exactly. What's right. the value yeah. for them? Because if you're only really looking at cost, yeah, it really co like it costs me $2,200 to make these videos for you. Right. This is not, you know, like it's not all profit I'm gonna make. You know, it also depends. Like, hey, are you? Do you want makeup? You know what I mean? Can we get somebody to do makeup? We want to make this look really good. Let's get a makeup artist. It's gonna be another three hundred bucks. Like, you know, having an understanding of like, you know, what what is the value of this gonna be for you? Because I can make you the videos for fifteen hundred bucks, but do you really want to present your brand with a fifteen hundred dollar videos when you're solving so many problems? Let's spend right. a little bit of money because these are gonna help you get results. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the other, yeah. That's good. yeah. Um, and then from there, the other things you could do, cause like I love frequently asked questions for uh, business purposes because they really help the business owner and answer a lot of questions on their website, which right. then frees up the people like, you know, their front desk receptionist. She doesn't have to answer all these little questions anymore. And also right. helps them have, you know, a super uh, educated conversation with their patients about things that they're already answering the questions about. So like, you know, if I, if I came in and I asked you things that are already on your website that you could have answered with a quick video, when we do have that talk, their level of conversation is a lot higher because now you're talking to an educated client. Right, right, right. And that, that really helps you close the deal. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, then I guess going deeper into it, okay. um, what would you i guess what's like the least common question to ask for someone getting into like doing this style of videos when it comes to like let's say gear or preparation oh wait can you re re rephrase that um like what what tips i guess you can give when it comes to like gear preparation gear like, preparation to, like, something like this 
um, backup audio is essential. Yeah. Like having so like right now for this, I'm shoot I'm recording the audio from the computer into the computer, and then I yeah. have a boom mic set up here, and then I have yeah, another camera set up here with another mic. <laughs> and you know, when you're doing stuff for business owners, you can't right. tell them like, yo, like we're audio messed up. I like like it doesn't matter. Like when they're paying for something, it's you right. know it's your responsibility to make it right and Absolutely. having backup audio to me is it's 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 huge it's going to save your life that's going to be really important um the other thing is going to be prepping your client um them having an understanding of what are the questions that they're going to talk about beforehand um this is where a lot of the prep work goes really far because the right. more comfortable that they get to you know understanding what they're going to talk about the better and clearer it's going to come out in the actual video Right. So, um, it saves time. yeah. And then another big, so like for this type of stuff, which really helps me or really helps clients, it starts off, start off with really easy questions first. So like, you know, just sit down, get all your stuff set up, get there early, get all of that. And then I usually go be like, Hey, you know, John, tell us your name a little about a little bit about yourself. Like, why did you get into being a plastic surgeon stuff that has nothing to do really with the questions you're going to ask. But just right. to get them comfortable and they're talking and then this is your friend, just like start rolling the camera and just start asking questions. Just like have a conversation with them so they feel really at ease. So it's not like, okay, let's get straight to the questions. No, what, right. why should someone hire you? What? It's like, you know, let them ease in into the questions. Mm -hmm. So another big thing is hire somebody to help you that day. Um, having like the way I really like to do, I'll hire, uh, well, I'll, I'll use my friend Gabe to man the cameras for me so I could focus yeah. on just asking the questions that I need to ask from the client and being very present with them on what's right. happening because that's where you're going to get a lot of great questions because if you're just sitting there, asking them questions for them to just read, like, you know, to answer to the camera, this is not going to look organic. But when you actually right. have a conversation with somebody and really like, you know, and sometimes you go off a little track, you go off track and you end up finding some really good gems and pulling some things out that you didn't yeah. expect. But I think being in the yeah. moment is huge for that. Um, you know, in your situation, having a backup camera, uh, for frequently asked questions type videos really helps, you know, cause you have like, you know, your establishing shot, then you have your side profile or just a B cam that, you know, throughout the interviews when they're doing the ums and, but you're able to cut to the other yeah. camera. That's something that, you know, to me, it's a lifesaver to me. Also, it presents a way higher production value for the client and it's stuff that right. they don't normally see in, but it makes your life a lot easier when you're trying to save, you know, then when they're talking about something and they you know stutter here and there, it to me yeah. makes a really big difference. So like I'll bring somebody on with me. I'd have all the questions prepared either on your phone or, um, you know, or print it out. Um, if you have a teleprompter that helps to, but like, I don't think you need a teleprompter if you're going to be asking questions with them, yeah. but it doesn't hurt. I bought one because it's, it's nice to sometimes just have the talking points on the screen. So they do look at the camera they could see what the talking points are. Um, right, that's so cool. Yeah, so I mean, that's probably be like the biggest things. Be in the, be in the moment, uh, have backup audio, bring somebody to help you shoot, or at least you just hit record and make sure you have good composition so you could have right. a dialogue with the client. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good, man. That's, I mean, that's more than I needed. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. but yeah, I, I mean, I, I I knew you're the person to ask because I just know how, how familiar you are with all this and its process, and you've been killing it, you know. I'm trying, man. So you let's do a role play, huh? Let's do a role play. Sure, why not? All right. So uh, you're calling me. How how do you have to contact him back? Contact. Uh, I'm probably like it's a real close friend, so I'm probably just texting him or something like that, just to call see him. what his ballpark is. Yeah, yeah, just be like, text him like, hey, uh, I got a quote. Hey, just want to get a little bit more information from you. Can you chat real quick? Right. So then he'd be like, hey, sure. So here we go. I'm picking up the phone. Hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? Hey, what's going on, man? So uh, I was just calling back to follow up with our uh, uh, with your request for the videos that you wanted for Instagram for your uh, business. And I rounded all the, uh, I pretty much came up with your quote put everything into consideration with editing and taking photos and the gear and, and just all the work. And um, 
So I believe I can do it from around um, three to five, but I want to first know um, what is your needs, you know? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, my needs, I just want some videos I could post on the internet or my website, maybe on social media. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, are you expecting to have, like, what, what are, what's the range of amount of videos that you, you would need? Um, right now, we're probably thinking we're going to start off between, like, you know, six to eight videos. Um, yeah. You know, just for us to get started, I want to go through my website and look at, like, what videos that we can start adding on there. Um, that would be, like, where I would say we probably want to go from. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, look, thinking about six to, to eight videos or such, um, I think around with when it comes to shooting, um, we would... We can probably shoot for about three hours, depending on how long we go with the questions and mm -hmm. so on. And so we would traditionally just uh, charge a half day rate, which is um, about eight hundred dollars. Okay. Um, and then after that, we will go into post production. Uh, and now post production would be, of course, you know, editing the footage, going through it, and selecting the selects and so forth. Um, when we get into that process. Um, when it comes to our clients, we generally charge about, uh, so I'm trying to remember your rates. <laughs> we generally charge, uh, what was it? It was four hours for every one minute. Four hours to every one minute. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Oh, good. Four hours to every, uh, one minute. Um, and I just feel free to, 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 to respond with anything if you have any questions or so forth like that. But yes, generally four hours to one minute. Um, and that would generally come to approximately um, about, what is that? Minute, now it's probably 200. There'll be about 200 for one video. Um, and so based so $200 on either, per video, that's it? Yeah. Oh, it's so only two hundred dollars for video. For editing the video. Oh, for editing the video. Got it. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, it'll be two hundred dollars to edit the video for during that post production time. Now, depending on how many videos do you want, that will give us our our total cost. And now we can continue talking about this um, to get you exactly what you want because all we're trying to do is give you value uh, for your business. Um, so feel free to chime in with uh, any thoughts that you have okay got it um how do you feel about that it's good i mean this is I, every time i do this with people like it, it always weird like when i'm on with actual clients it's like magic. it's on there it's like i could just go in uh and i guess i'm just trying too hard that's all it is okay um a couple of different pointers uh let's do a reverse role play Sure. And then I'll touch on the things that um, we could. I feel like you could have improved on. Okay. So I'm calling you. I'm gonna call you John. Yeah. Hey John, how's it going? Uh, had a couple minutes to chat. Yeah, man. What's going on? Awesome. So uh, I just want to touch base on a conversation about your video project. I just had a couple follow up questions before I can get you a proper quote. Okay. Awesome. So you just want to make sure you're going to be using these videos to go on your website and social media, or I just want to understand how the length of the editing is going to be, because that's a crucial part of this project. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping to use them on different platforms. Yes, of course, my website, but okay. also social media, Facebook and so forth like that. Um, yeah. So most likely it's going to live on your website for sure. And then we're going to create different content or use that content for your social media, right? Correct. And we're looking to shoot how many different frequently asked questions? Um, I'm hoping to do around six to eight. Six to eight. Perfect. So here it is, John. So for something like this, normally for frequently asked question projects or talking heads, these projects range between five to three thousand dollars. Is that within your budget? Uh, I mean, I'll have to see, but uh, I, I'm I'm not honestly sure because uh, I don't know. It kind of sounds a lot. Sounds like a lot. Um, so is it a lot because 
you don't want to spend that much money on this project or just have a better idea of how can we make this work? Um, generally, it's, 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 it's fairly a new idea uh, uh -huh. that was just brought on by the team. And it's not really, I, I guess we didn't really take that into consideration. Uh, but okay. we just wanted to hear back from you to get the quote of what a realistic number is. Uh, but definitely, this is something that we want to invest in for our company because this is... This is where um, I believe all education is being driven is through social media. And we want to just bring more value towards our clients, not just in office, but outside. So, um, yeah. So may I say this, John, typically for surgery at your practice, what does that usually range for? Uh, surgery uh, for fillers, we do about 5,000 to 10,000. Um, when it goes into more um, detailed work, that can go from 10 and up. 10 and over, wow. And how many of these are you doing a month? Uh, approximately, well, we have two offices. Um, so approximately all in all, we're probably doing about 30 surgeries. Wow, that's, I mean, I'm doing the math. But let's say 30 surgeries at five grand. <laughs> Check out my phone real quick. <laughs> what did you make up a number? So I'm trying to get a con in this situation here. I'm trying to get a context to the value hey. for the five thousand dollars. So you'd be like, "Hey, John, you know, I really want to work with you. That I really want to work with you on this. Um, if you want to talk to your team and get back to me, we could follow up from there. Um, you know, just so sort I of have a better idea, you know, if this is gonna work or not. And I just let me know your thoughts. Yeah. And I'll leave it on there. And now if he says like, listen, I was really looking, let's say in a different situation, if he's like, hey, I was really looking to spend like 1500 bucks or like $2,000. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, listen, John, um, I really want your business. I want to work with you. This is what I could do. Or normal day rate is $800. And then for each video, depending on the editing length, I could probably charge you to edit each video between 300 to 200 dollars which the project would probably overall between for six to eight videos it'll fall between maybe you know two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars would that work with you yeah so that's how i would probably follow up in that situation but then something else you know this is different for everybody and in your situation yeah. you need to understand like what's best for you is like how much money do you actually want to make from this project? It's like, if you did this for, you know, 1500 bucks, are you going to be happy with that? You know what right. I mean? That's where a lot of people kind of get, you know, not want to say discouraged, but it's like, it's like, you can ask for more, you can, you can always ask for more money, but you also have to understand like, you know, what's the minimum of your level of engagement that you're going to want to do. And exactly. I personally know for like, if I was doing six, eight videos, I wouldn't want to charge less than $2,000. Because like for you're dealing with six eight rounds of revision, like you're dealing with six eight rounds of revision. So like yeah, it might seem like a lot of money for me to come out and shoot the like you know these four videos which are quick, but post production you're gonna take you know what like over twenty hours to edit these videos. Then you're gonna have to do with revisions, and I think that's where a lot of people sometimes don't take that into consideration. Right. Because when you're working with bigger companies like that too. John's gonna look at the video. John's assistant's gonna have something to say about the video. John's wife's gonna have something to say about the video. So now you're dealing with all these different rounds of revisions. And if you charge them like you know fifteen hundred bucks or even like two thousand dollars, you really end up making two to three hundred dollars per video, which doesn't make sense, being that he's a surgeon and making you know a couple thousand, not hundred thousand uh, dollars, you know, a time. You know, right. this is your first time going around. It's you know gaining this experience and just talking to him and just being up front with him too like it really helps you to get more comfortable for the next person but dealing right. my experience dealing with the medical professionals they have money to spend they might not always want to spend it but it's it comes down to like you know how far do you want to push it and how low would you actually want to work for that money right right, right. no I truly understand because i'm pretty sure we both even when we were starting it's like friends and family and yeah. stuff like that. And then it's like, hmm, I think I need value as well. You know what <laughs> I mean? So I think we kind of got past that point and now we actually have like professional friends and so forth like that who can actually pay, you know. I don't 
I don't think we're ever torn anymore. No. Like we're like, oh no, I, I guess I got to do this for only twenty bucks and spend twenty hours. Playing, exactly. You know? But I think uh, it's really funny about this because we both came from that same, or you're still in it, but like with the industry of working with brides, it's right. like a bride would spend twenty five hundred dollars without blinking an eye no. yeah, no to problem. book, you know, totally a photo different. session or like you know get a very quick video. But when you mm-hmm. speak to a business owner about spending twenty five hundred dollars, you're like. $2,500, like what? I'm like, right. you're going to get customers from this and you don't want to spend the money versus a bride right. that's going to, yeah, she's going to watch it. But like the value to her for the video means a lot for her. You right. know what I mean? And I always find that very intriguing being, And it's know, emotional um, value for her and not really emotional for them. It's more trying to be lucrative. Exactly. For them. Yeah. So that's totally different. I could definitely see that happening because what we deal with just weddings period we can charge whatever we want and just give it to them there's no real revisions there may be here and there but like they're paying literally just for you to create something and give it you know they're so thankful they're so thankful that you're there (laughs) thank you so much i'm just like yeah all right but when you get into commercial work it's like uh the way that their lens works is entirely different where like how you're saying where there's multiple eyes on this one project and each person sees something different just like oh no could we mask like that out and or could we like make this faster and this slower could there be breath you know yeah it's entirely different i i, I respect you for for killing it and <laughs> try man genre man and then like you know in these type of situations too something that i'm actually working on a video for now which really helps you bring value to them yeah. is learning how to rank those videos on YouTube mm. because that's what else we offer to our clients now is that like if you look right now if you go to YouTube and you type in you know um, Lake Worth Dentist or Jupiter yeah. Farm Dentist our client videos show up then oh, they okay. go ahead and embed those videos on their website and that right. helps them even get more traction through SEO because now there's a video on YouTube which Google owns, that's ranking for a keyword inside of their website. So it gives them that right. boost. That's something else we like, hey, that's awesome, man. something else we do for this because I really like you and I want your business. We're going to throw in this video ranking thing. And they're like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are just like the little things that, uh, you know, I try to include in what we do. But um, yeah. anything we can wrap this up before I got to run? I think that's it, brother. Like, you gave me way, we went into way more stuff. Like, I'm like, yeah, let me get this consultation in, man. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm going to export this, record it. I'll send it to you if you want to go back over yeah. and do anything, man. But I really appreciate you taking the time to do this call with me. If you have any Absolutely. more questions, please let me know. I'm trying to put out more content like this.